This is a required practical revision video for the IV characteristics or the current potential difference characteristics. We have our power supply, our ammeter in series, our voltmeter in parallel over the component of interest, whether it's an ohmic resistor, a diode or a filament bulb. And we have a variable resistor to alter the resistance, which alters our potential difference over the component, which I'll talk about more in more detail. We get these amateur and voltmeter readings and we plot them on the graphs. So the ohmic resistor, ohmic resistor you'll like get a nice directly proportional graph. For the filament bulb, you will get a ohmic resistant, you get directly proportional ohmic resistance in the bit and then it will plateau and it will plateau in the other direction. It does not curl down, does not curl up. And the diode, there's no current unless I reach the threshold, the current shoots up. So potential difference on the x-axis, current on the y-axis, potential difference on the x-axis, current on the y-axis, potential difference and current on the y-axis. Direct proportional for the ohmic resistor, direct proportional in the middle portion for filament bulb and then it plateaus because the filament bulbs got hotter so resistance increases so the current plateaus for the diode no current in the negative direction because the resistance is very high in the positive direction current very high very low resistance that's why diodes point in one direction showing the direction that they work in and the reason why we use the variable resistor in this experiment is so we can get these variable potential difference values so we can change the values if you want to get negative readings if you want to get negative readings what we do is we swap the power supply around whether it's a power supply or cell or battery we just switch it over and that is the IV characteristics required practical video